everyone! This lesson is actually the continuation of the fourth learning activity sheet. We will demonstrate on how to construct a model of transcription and translation process using the DNA and RNA templates. Use the color codes given in the activity. For phosphate blue, dioxyribose sugar green, ribose sugar brown, for the nitrogenous bases, for adenine yellow, thymine pink, guanine violet, cytosine red, and uracil orange. Please cut out the shapes of its nucleotide. Then using the order of bases in the left strand of DNA model, construct the double-stranded of DNA molecule by supplying the complementary base pair for guanine, cytosine, adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine, thymine, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and guanine, cytosine. After we constructed the double-stranded DNA, we demonstrate transcription process by pulling the DNA model apart between the base pairs. Then using the right strand of DNA model, begin matching the complementary RNA nucleotides with the exposed bases of the DNA model to make RNA. Then, if you are done, tape your mRNA molecule and label your work as transcription. After transcribing, mRNA leaves the cell's nucleus and moves out to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. But since we have already taped the mRNA model in the transcription process, so we have to make another copy of mRNA model to be used in translation. But please keep in mind that, in reality, this mRNA that is produced during transcription is the same mRNA that leaves the nucleus. We just make another copy of mRNA model to be used in demonstrating translation. After transcription, the next step is translation. At this point, the mRNA model already positioned itself to the ribosomes in the cytoplasm. So given the mRNA codon, we have the GAC and UCG. We translate by adding the free nucleotides found in the cytoplasm. So we have for G, for guanine, we have cytosine, adenine, uracil, Cytosine, guanine, uracil, adenine, cytosine, guanine, and guanine, cytosine. By the way, the GAC are the nitrogenous bases which represent one codon. And the second codon is UCG. Then we have the tRNA. The three nitrogenous bases is called the anticodon. So, the first anticodon is CUG and the second anticodon is AGC. Okay, so please take note of that. Now, how do we know the name of the amino acid produced in this translation process? We will use the genetic code table. So, please take note that, the, that it is not the tRNA that codes or copy the whatever is the information from the DNA. To get the name of the amino acid, you will use the codon. So in our example, the first codon found in the mRNA is GAC. So GAC is called, the, the amino acid is aspartic acid based from the genetic code table. While the second codon, that is uh, UCG, which is serine. Then after we've done, we tape the model and label it translation. I hope you will get the, the doing part of this uh, fourth learning activity sheets. 